Title Favorite Christmas Stories The Christmas Snowman Author Diane Sherman Genre Christmas Tale Shortly Description The Adventure of a Snowman Who Wanted to Be Special Sammy Was a handsome, new snowman He had a button eyes A carrot nose And a bowler hat But Sammy Didn't want to be an ordinary snowman He wanted to be A Christmas snowman A Christmas snowman said Squeaky Squirrel, as he jumped off a branch to say hello. Now that would be something special. Very special, said Corky Crow. He swooped low and landed on Sammy's shoulder. But how can you be a Christmas snowman? Well, said Sammy, first I'll need some decorations. You do lots of traveling. Crow. Have you seen something I can use? Corky Crow thought a minute, then took off to his favorite spot, the dump. On a pile of rubbish, he saw a wreath that looked like new, carrying it back in his beak. He dropped it over Sammy's head. Thank you, said Sammy. This looks fine around my neck. Now, what about you, Squirrel? Do you have anything I can use? Squeaky Squirrel thought for a minute, then scurried back to his hidey hole in the tree. From deep inside, he pulled out a big red bow he'd found on the ground. Here you are, snowman, he said. He tucked the ribbon on Sammy's hat. Fanny Field Mouse heard the commotion and poked her nose out from under a log. A new snowman. How do you do? He wants to be a Christmas snowman, said Squeaky. Do you have any decorations we can use? Fanny thought a minute. Then she disappeared in her hole. Soon she was back with her children behind her, pushing a huge gold ball. It's a tree ornament said Fanny. The children found it last year. Beautiful, said Sammy, as they fastened it on chest. Thank you, friends. Do I look like a Christmas snowman now? Oh, yes, shouted Squeaky Squirrel. Seeing you makes me feel all happy and Christmas why inside. He clapped his paws together and started doing somersaults. The field mouse children began tumbling, too. Sammy smiled as he watched. He liked making everyone happy. I feel like dancing, Fanny said. She glided around the others. There's just one thing. Christmas is for everyone. The animals can see you here, but not many people will. Sammy thought about it. Then he had an idea. Come here, Corky Crow, he said. He whispered into Corky's ear. With a flap and flutter of his wings, Corky flew off. He found some children racing downhill on their sledges, swooping low. He grabbed a mitten someone left on the ground. Come back, Crow, the children yelled. They grabbed their sledges and followed to where the snowman stood. Someone decorated the snowman. They stood admiring Sammy. Doesn't he make you feel good? Said children. A real Christmas snowman. Joining hands. They danced all around Sammy. Up in the tree. Corky Crow danced too. Clapping his wings to keep time. Squeaky Squirrel drummed on a branch with some twigs, and down below, behind a log, the field mouse children frolicked. At night, when everyone sleeps, Sammy stood in the moonlight, 
He felt a lovely glow inside. His friends helped make his dream come true. He couldn't be happier. He was a Christmas snowman.